Hi there, welcome to another episode of Luke's Garage, or webinar, not really an episode is it? Um, today we're going to look at datums and finding them using a Shapiko and the probing tool that I've knocked up. So I've posted, you know, uh, I say what I've done actually and to find my datum each and every time. Uh, I've posted a couple of pictures of the probe uh, and we're actually going to use it today just to find the z-axis. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. Now first I'm going to talk you through what my probe is. It's dead easy. At one end we've got a 3.5 mm connector, at the other end we've got a crocodile clip and then we've got the actual edge finder itself. Now this is just 10 millimeter thick steel, uh, not steel sorry, aluminium and it's got a square cut out of it. Importantly the measurements are fairly precise so it's 31 millimeters that way, 31 millimeters that way and then 10 millimeters deep or five millimeters if it's on the edge. And that's a reference point, so every time I find data, all I've got to do is minus 31, 31, and five. Nice and straightforward. Now, we've got some stock on there, um, and that's what we're gonna find the uh, z-axis datum for that. And the reason why you might want to find a datum is because if you're milling something which is two-sided, you need to return to the same point. Um, otherwise, you'll find that the design doesn't match up correctly. And that's very, very common. In fact, here's a piece of stock I was milling uh, a while ago. I drilled the top and then I drilled straight through the side because I couldn't refer back to a same point of the stock. Now, it's really easy to use one of these datum finders. Um, you know, mine's to my measurements, but you could technically knock one up to what measurements you want. We've got the stock on the board, so we're going to find the datum of this piece of stock. Firstly, we just plug it into the back, and I've put a little connector on the back of my Shapiko. Then take the, uh, I say, datum finder, and put it on the edge of your stock. You then take the crocodile clip, and just clip it to the uh, um, mill end, whatever you want to call it. We're just going to move it a bit closer, stop the strain on the wires. And then what we'd normally do, this stock shouldn't really move, but we'd hold that in place just there. Now on your Shapiko software, whether you're using a universal Google code center, um, G code sender, or you're using carbide motion, all you've got to do is go to the MIDI and you send the command. The command's fairly straightforward, G38.2, which is the probing command, Z minus the number you want to go minus, so Essentially, it could go down as far as you want, so it could go minus 120, and then you put your speed. So I've put mine down to 120 to make sure it goes down far enough, uh, and I've put it at a speed of 150, so 150 millimeters a minute. Pretty slow, to be honest. Now, I'll hold this in place. And just make sure the fingers are out of the way. Don't lose one of those. And I'm just gonna send the command and it slowly lowers the mill end to a certain point. And what's gonna happen is at five millimeters from the surface, it's gonna stop. And that's really important, is the fact it's going to stop there. So as you'll see, if we, uh, I don't know if we can get any closer to this, we are dead on the center of the stock. Now, for my purpose, what I'd normally do is go to the jog menu. I would set the zero on the Z axis. And that says, okay, that's five millimeters above the stock now. Click done. And then I'll just raise it by a millimeter or so. And just pull the probe off. Now, all I have to do is go down by one millimeter. Sorry. Um, five millimeters, and I'm exactly in line with that. So I don't know if you can see, but that is dead center on the top of the stock there. And if I just try and move it, I'm sure it's there you go, and just move that. So that's five millimeters above the stock. Now, obviously, if you're milling down, that's really useful from the top, but with this particular probe, you can also do X and Y. It's exactly the same, you just 
you know, do it to the point and then you can move it back and forth, uh, reset the series as and when. I hope that's been useful. Any questions, do let me know. Always happy to help and um, happy new year, guys.